United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization has said that Yemen could see a catastrophic food security situation due to the pandemic and low remittances from the Gulf region. The country is already pushed to the brink of famine by a five-year-long war. Almost 80% of Yemen's population is dependent on foreign aid. According to the organization's Assistant Director General Abdus Salam Uld, Yemen's healthcare system was already under stress. It will now be overwhelmed if COVID-19 continues to spread. The conflict between a Saudi-led coalition and the Iran-aligned Houthi movement has caused what the United Nations calls the world's largest humanitarian crisis. Remittances are funds transferred by migrants to their home countries, and these funds are then used in the home country for food, clothing, and other expenditure to drive the economy. Since the intensification of the conflict and the economic disruption that ensued, Remittances have become the primary financial support for many families and communities across Yemen. They act as an important safety net for conflict-affected countries like Yemen. The country receives the majority of its remittances from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. This year, the World Bank predicted that global remittances are projected to decline sharply by 20 percentage, and this is due to the economic crisis caused by the pandemic. The projected decline is the sharpest in recent history. And the decline in remittances has been attributed to a fall in the wages and employment of migrant workers. According to the World Health Organization, the virus is circulating undetected in Yemen and has increased the likelihood of a devastating outbreak amongst a malnourished population. In a population of around 28 million, 15.9 million Yemenis are classified as food insecure. The United Nations body does not know how far the number of food in CEO people will rise during this outbreak.